Health and safety in childcare. This course is aimed at childminders, childcare centres and nurseries. Programme issues. Environmental health, food safety and environmental safety. Guidelines for regulating childcare and daycare settings. The Health and Safety Executive and Ofsted have guidelines for safety in childcare settings. Ofsted and the local authority, Environmental Health Agency, conduct routine inspections. Fire evacuation drills are practiced regularly to get the children and new staff used to the procedure. Environmental safety. Create child-centered environment. All furnishings are suitable for children. There are different activity areas. The risk of slips and falls are identified and minimized. Kitchen safety. Establish kitchen safety rules. Establish safety rules for appliances and equipment and teach dangers and do nots. Teach children and new staff about dangers of appliances, cords and knives. Children should not sit on countertops, crawl around unrestricted, run or play in food preparation areas and be unsupervised in kitchen space. Use only rubber backs or non-skid rugs. Mop only when the children are away from the centre or in another room and use only hot water as this will evaporate quickly. Use warning signs. Utensils and equipment practices. Turn pot handles towards the back of the stove and counter. Use back burners on the stove to stop top whenever possible. Turn burners off immediately after use. Use stove knob covers on controls reachable by children. Keep hot foods and beverages pushed back from the edge of the countertops and tables. Use safety latches on appliances such as refrigerator, dishwasher and microwave. Ideally, keep the children out of the kitchen during food preparation. Use non-breakable dishes and eating utensils. Teach older children knife safety. Allow children to use the utensil safely and children must be sitting when eating. Keep dishwasher closed when not in use. Keep children away from the dishwasher when emptying. Use cord shortness on appliances and phone cords. Tall refrigerators and stoves should be secured to eliminate the possibility of tipping. Meal time. Eating practices. Teach and expect children to sit during the meal time and use utensils safely. Keep high chairs away from the stove and work counters. Stay with the children during the meal time and monitor the actions and behaviour. Meal time should be a social experience. Buckle children in high chairs with high chair restraints. Secure latch high chair trays. Take precautions not to pinch hands and fingers in high chair. Wash the hands face and high chair immediately after mealtime. Play and nap time areas. Keep all areas clean, orderly and free of potential hazards. Identify and avoid all potential hazards. Identify and remove any ties or objects with small parts. Do not let children run about in a nap time area when other children are asleep. Activity General safety. On completion of this activity, you will be able to identify the kinds of hazards that young children face in their environment each day. Always put yourself in the position of the child and think how you would feel if you were that child. View each room from the child's vantage point. Get down on the floor and look around the room. What looks interesting under the furnishings? What are the various eye levels of the children under your care? And what can, uh, what can items might look attractive to the children? Leading causes of death, falls, choking, poisoning, fires and burns, drowning. Over 2 million accidents happen in the home every year involving children under the age of 5. Slips, trips and falls. Keep floors free of things that can be tripped over or slipped on. Keep stairs in good shape and use stair guards. 
eliminate throw rugs. Make certain you can see where you are going when you are carrying big loads. Keep the area well lit and obstruction free. Poison prevention. Poison proof your facility. Potential dangers exist in all rooms. Look through your facility for poisonous products and remember Kosh 2004. Why are children at risk? They crawl and play on floors and lawns. They put things in their mouths from foods, accidental poisoning. Remember, children's bodies are small, so a little bit of some chemicals can cause big problems. What products are dangerous for children? Batteries, pesticides, automotive products, cleaners, paints and solvents. Other dangerous products you may not think to include medicine, mouthwash, makeup, first aid supplies, deodorant, perfumes, furniture polish, liquor, plants, bleach, cigarettes. Household products are dangerous if they can cause harm when not used properly. How are products harmful? Well, you've got toxic and poisonous to cause headaches, dizziness, nausea, injury and death. Corrosive, they can burn skin and eyes. And flammable, can be set on fire. Protecting children from hazardous products, how-tos. Use hazardous products safely. Store hazardous products carefully and dispose of hazardous products properly. Use safely. Always read the label. Look for the signal words. Caution. Warning. Flammable. Harmful. Danger. Poison. Follow directions and special instructions. Whenever possible, use the products when the children are away. Put away after use. No eating when using hazardous products and never mix products. Store safely. Store in the original container. Close tightly after use. Keep away from heat, sparks or fire. And store in a or secure place out of reach of children. Dispose of safely. Dispose of hazardous products in according to the label's directions. Dispose of hazardous products containers in a way such that the children can't get to them. Take to the community hazard waste collection point. Never dump or burn, and where possible, recycle. Keep this number near the phone. 999 forward slash 112. Hazardous hound can help your children stay safe with the paws off label. Teach the children not to touch products with paws off stickers. Label all potentially dangerous products with the paws off stickers. Reducing children's risks of house twos. Strategies for eliminating pests. Strategies for reducing exposure to hazardous products. And strategies for using mobile devices. Pest control strategies. Why do you have pests? Well, you can have broken, loose or torn screens, gaps or home, holes in the home, dirty floors, containers, dishes, spilt foods, storing garbage when pests can reach, roof or plumbing leaks, storing food in containers without lids. Seal cracks and crevices where the pests can enter the home. Check things like bags and boxes for roaches before bringing them into the setting. Teach your children not to share combs, hats or coats at school or daycare. Fire and burns. Have a working electrical smoke detector with a battery backup. Have a readily accessible full charge fire extinguisher. Store matches and lighters away from children. Discuss fire safety with the children and have an exit plan in case of fire. Burns. Install a scald guard or temperature limited device to help prevent burns. Set hot water heater at a maximum of 120 degrees Celsius. Practice kitchen safety rules that help prevent burns. 
Use protective screening with support for any approved fuel burning heater, fireplace or floor furnace. Cover or insulate hot pipes and radiators. Use only venti fuel burning heaters. Use a carbon monoxide detector if you have a gas furnace or fuel burning appliance. Choking and suffocation. Keep an eye on young children while eating and playing. Pick toys that are appropriate for the age of the child. Never tie child to the playpen as the child can strangle if caught in them. Keep cribs and playpens away from windows covering pool courts. Don't let children play with balloons. Don't let children play near cars, old appliances, plastic bags and covers away from children. Drowning. If you have a pool, fence the pool area. Don't leave toys in the pool. Have children walk, not run in the pool area. Watch children at all times. Drowning. Watch children around all water sources, tubs, wading pools, creeks, ponds, streams, backyard pools. Empty wading pools when not in use. Never leave children alone in the bathtub. Children can drown in only a couple of inches of water. Equipment and furnishings. Appliances, cabinets and shelves should be attached to the wall or braced by being anchored together. Blocks and heavy objects should be stored on lower shelves. TV sets, fish bowls and other similar items should be restrained so they won't slide off. Electrical safety. Make certain all electrical calls are in good condition and free of frays or cracks. Bathroom safety practices. Keep all medications in containers with child resistant closures and in a locked location away from children's reach. Do not allow children to play in or near the toilet. Pictures and other wall hangings should be attached to the wall with wire and closed screw eyes. Electrical fans should be out of reach of children and fitted with a gap mesh guard to protect small fingers. Other safety concerns. Adults and older children should learn CPR, basic life support. Children should wear safety gear, helmets, knee pads, etc. when playing with scooters, bikes and snake bolts. <laughs>